Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Stoneblocks 3 and today I am very excited because we are going to be defeating, well, we're gonna try and defeat the mother silverfish and then we're going to try and set up a farm for it so that we can get a bunch of these silverfish hearts which are going to be used for quite a few things down the road. So, without any further ado, Let's get right to it. So we have a lot of things that we need to do today and prepare and make. So if this episode is a little bit long, I do apologize, but I hope you will enjoy it. Now we need to get into our Novo, no, 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 Novel. I'm butchering that. I'm so sorry. Anyway, we need to be making these and the way that we make these is in the imbuement chamber and we with lapis and or amethyst and we're going to be setting that up today because we're going to be needing quite a few um, of the source gems. So in order to make the imbuement chamber, I need to get some archwood planks and in order to get archwood We need to grow some of these trees and I do actually have these So if we just go ahead and search archwood, we have plenty of saplings. I have no idea where I actually have these from uh, But any of these is going to work Now the question is am I going to be able to grow this or is it not? going to fit in this area due to certain plants in the area. We are going to try. I also don't remember if I need to grow it in a 4x4 four four or if I need to grow it in a 1x1. One one. You know what? There might not be enough space. You know what? I'm just gonna temporarily cut all of this down to that much length and this one as well. Now there's a bunch of string as well that I placed to stop some of this stuff from growing all the way down. Let's see if that has made... Oh, yep, that definitely made a difference. Okay. <laughs> Let's just chop all of that down. That was almost a stack. I'll take it. Oh, so you only need one sapling. Okay, good to know. So now that we have a bunch of this flourishing archwood, which we could even see if we wanted to, we're just going to go ahead and do that. And what was the thing that we needed to make? We needed to get the imbuement chamber right here. Now, when we actually... Let's make, um, hmm, give me a second. All right, let's make this room into our Ars Novo chamber. Now we got the imbuement chamber and I should be able to potentially set up a hopper with an ender drawer or something to the lapis maybe. Am I even generating lapis? Where am I getting lapis from? I don't even remember how I get my lapis. Uh, let's find out. Ham modifiers, nope. Crushing, uh, hmm, interesting. Ah, yes, we are washing, no, we're not washing gravel, we, well, I might not be generating lapis in any way. Time to fix that real quick, which should be just as easy as doing this. And having a bit of patience. It is a really satisfying process, though. Boop. There we go. And as we found out in the last episode, I will never need more <laughs> roosts. In fact, just to spare my sorting system, I think I'm going to add a space for them right there. And welcome home. I know I should probably breed it so it's a 10 out of 10 out of 10, but I will do that another time. Just add this to here, set it to output and boom, Lapis has been added to the system. Now, I don't think I need that many source gems, so I think potentially just doing this is going to be enough. So crafting process, and I guess that needs to reach to 100. And I suppose I should set up an output chest as well. All right, so just putting a hopper here leading into the chest is basically just making so the lapis runs from that hopper into that chest, which is not what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to output at this there dig down, add a whitelist and say only extract source gems. And I'm pretty sure that that is going to stop that. So when this crafting process reaches 100, just like so, boom, source gem. Now we could go ahead and add some source links and jars and whatnot. But I think all we really need to do is activate the watch of flowing time. And this will be generating source gems at a pretty decent pace while we do some other things. That being, I think we should go ahead and defeat the other silverfish for the very first time with our gear. Now, first off, I'm going to charge up my clean star. 
just like so. Nope, that's being used. I need to charge it. <laughs> there we go. That's going to take a little bit of time because I'm pretty sure it can hold quite a lot of EMC. Now, I can show you in between episodes, I went ahead and made a tunnel and we have reached the area. This is a boss fight uh, area over here. I'm very excited to see what is in these hallways, if there's any good treasure. We'll have to find out. But I think this is going to be enough EMC, so we can go ahead and add this. And I want to show you this mining gadget. I have made a few upgrades for it. I made it, uh, gave it an upgrade range tier 3 and efficiency tier 5. And this thing is super, super cool. I just need to make sure I have my dark matter receiver, uh, matter receiver and energy cell. That should be good. So uh, we can teleport to the end ring and we can just fly all the way over. It's a bit of a flight, which is why I want to set a matter receiver in the, the final dungeon. I don't know what it's called, actually. I guess we'll find out when we reach it. But yeah, as you can see, this tunnel um, took a little bit to dig. Well, I'm saying it took a little bit to dig, but honestly, it didn't because of this mining laser. Like, watch this. <laughs> it's so cool and super fast as well. Like, when I made this, this took, what, two minutes? This is the only um, downside when you can't aim straight, which sometimes I can't. Um, yeah, and I have to fiddle with this. Now a caught. Excuse me. That's what I thought. Now according to this, it's at Y level 32, I'm pretty sure. Yep, 30 something. And we're at minus one. So if I just go ahead and continue forward a little bit more, and then go right and then up, I should be right at an intersection. Like right, yeah, right here. Then over like so. A little bit further. Then I think I can just go straight up. And we might reach it. I love this mining laser. Yep, that is. Hello. Okay. What did I just get myself into here? I don't know what I just got myself into. <laughs> but with our life, um, with our life crystal and everything. This should be a breeze. Okay. Area secured. Maybe. I'm gonna set up the matter stuff here. So, ender cell. Matter receiver. We're gonna name this Final Dungeon. Boom. And I'm gonna teleport back real quick because I want to make a few... What are they called again? Feral Flare Lanterns. Oh wow, look at all the <laughs> look at all the cobblestone. I need to make a trash can actually. Can I make a trash can? Is that a thing here? Tra it is. Can void items. Just gotta be careful with how you use it. Don't trash anything you will regret losing. Alright, final dungeon, by once. Because then I can simply put this down. And let's do a little bit of exploring, I suppose. I mean, it's already well lit, so honestly, this shouldn't be too bad. I do, however, want to get rid of as many of the spawners as I can, and I also don't know if there's going to be any... Oh, well, that answers that question. Treasure. We do have treasure indeed. Nothing that I don't think that I really need. Hmm. Not too bad, though. Yeah, like this place is actually fairly... Pretty well lit up, it's just the spawners I need to get rid of. Alright, well, I won't do too much exploring of the dungeon here today. What we're here for is this right here. So I need to make... Uh, this looks like it could lead to something important. <laughs> Let me place this down. Don't blow up, please. I'll be very mean of you. Please go away. Yep, here we are, I think. Here we are. Okay. This is the boss room, and this is where we summon the silverfish. Oh, this is a bit loud. I do apologize. <laughs> Let's put that down a tad. Let me clear out all these mobs and set up some torches and whatnot, which is hopefully going to make this a little bit easier. Did I die? 
Thank you. All right, so I went back home real quick to ooh, slime grenade. That's pretty interesting. Anyway, I went back here because I need to make a mega torch because I need to prevent the natural spawning of hostile mobs because they keep spawning everywhere. So getting this is going to make this job a whole lot easier. So if I just place this like here or something, I think we'll be good. Oh wow, we have treasure in these chests as well. Which bone egg? Well, in some of in some of the barrels. What? Nuclear grenade? I'm not gonna touch that. All right, let us get down to business, shall we? So we need to get 16 cold silverfish shards, 16 warm silverfish shards, one ritual starter, and I actually forgot something. Need to go back home again. Believe it or not, we need 16 eggs. Yep, that's what I was missing. All right, yep, this place is looking a lot safer now. However, I think I do want to put these down at every entrance. Just to be on the safe side, maybe in each corner as well. Just to make sure this place is nice and lit. I like things, yeah, nice and bright. All right, this is gonna be interesting. Um, right, we add this, 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 and here we go. Oh yeah, the place is being lit up nice. And we just wait, I got the, the ring of arrows and my sword, I should be good. And here we go. Just waiting for it to happen. I'm seeing the particles and the, oh, the ritual. Oh, hello. All right, let's get rid of your mint. Whoa, you're, you're fast. You're fast. You're very, very, very fast. I'm glad I can fly. What happens if I'm if I'm not flying? Let's try and, oh. Oh, no, I'm not attacking me. I mean, this is, thanks to the life crystal. It was actually, oh, I'm actually taking damage. A little bit. It would be doing a lot of damage if I hadn't had the life crystal. That's for sure. This is just easy. Oh, okay. One and a half hearts of damage. The silverfish are not making this easier. I hate silverfish. Please go away. That's also very no Oh, okay. I'm, ta I'm taking some damage. I'm taking some damage. That's good, though. I haven't taken some damage in a while. <laughs> nice. And I don't even have dark matter armor on. Wow. All right, well, you will be slain with the sword and, oh, poison, po hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I did not sign up for this. I did not sign up for this. Poison silverfish, please go away. And boom, it is dead. Give me my sword. Hold up, that thing has my sword. That's not fair. There we go. Give me my sword back. Whew. Okay, even though I had really good items. That was still a little bit of a rough fight, but we got it. Silverfish heart, epic shader. I don't know what that is. Rare loot crate. Uh, breaks apart. Hmm. I probably shouldn't right click that. Okay, lovely. Well, silverfish defeat, and what are you doing in here? I think you're a leftover. Boom, not anymore. And I think I got some silverfish shots from that fight as well. Not too bad. Now we are getting to the farm part, and by the way, we will need to defeat the mother silverfish, I believe, at least three more times in order to do the farm setup that we need to do. However, the next stuff that we need to get into is actually industrial fork going, because we need to make the stasis chamber. This is what is basically going to be the core of the farm. We summon the mother silverfish, then the stasis chamber will make sure the mother silverfish basically can't move at all, and then that is where we go from there. But in order to make it, I need to make an advanced machine frame, which is made in a dissolution chamber, which I also need plastic and simple machine frame, pink slime, apparently. It's a bit of a process, but we should be able to manage it. So first I need to make a latex processing unit, uh, which is requiring a pity machine frame and a furnace and latex bucket, apparently. How? Okay, fluid extractor. So I need to make this as well, which is just like so. I should be able to make it out. Yes, perfect. Fluid extractor, that's apparently a quest. So if I get rid of you real quick, 
I place fluid extractor down. Not really facing the way I want you to. <laughs> and I think... Do I need to... I think I need to give it a lock. So if I hit over here, give it maybe some oak locks. It's actually getting the latex extremely slowly. So, oh boy, I might do something here. Oh wow, we have two stacks of storage gems through that. All right, well, getting a cup of tea, don't break the game. I'm trying not to. I might need to make multiple of these um, watches, watches of flowing time. Give me that, place them there. Oh yeah, that definitely speed things up. Hopefully it's not affecting our power stuff over there. <laughs> Um, but I should be able to place my bucket in here. Yep, latex bucket, and that can just kindly continue. So with that, we can now make, hold on, we can now make a latex processing unit. Now, this thing should be uh, basically generating rubber for us. If I place that there, um, and then we go ahead and say, how do we use plastic? We need to get dry rubber and we get tiny... Uh, tiny dry rubber from the latex processing unit, but what do you need is the question water? Ah, you need water and latex Well, that makes sense. This is a very very temporary setup I will probably make a whole separate section for this stuff But it is kind of temporary in the sense that I don't know how much of this I will need Uh Oh wait, hold on, that's wrong. <laughs> when we're actually done with this farm setup. All right, so it's getting water, it's getting that, it's not getting any power, and that is of course because I need to go ahead and give it a, an energy cable. Don't do that. Place this here. And we're now generating a bunch of tiny dry rubber. Uh, that's actually using our power quite fast. Huh. Anyway, if we take this, and then go over to a crafting thingy. We can go ahead and turn it into dry rubber, which we can smelt, and we can then get plastic. So I don't think I actually need to do this uh, much longer. I think I have enough. According to my calculations, all I'm going to need is eight plastic, and this should provide that just fine. So let's find out if I am correct or not. We are going to be needing a mob crusher as well which that will make sense in a moment. But first we need to make this, the dissolution chamber, because this is how we make the advanced machine frame. So just a diamond gear and a pity machine frame and boom, dissolution chamber. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure we have the, the stuff done down there, but I'll just set it up here for now. Right, so with the dissolution chamber, we now need to add this uh, this ingredients right here or these ingredients. I can't speak apparently. All right My calculations were a little bit wrong because apparently we need to make these simple machine frames first in order to make the advanced machine frame Which makes total sense and for that we need some more plastic as well. So Basically, I just need four more but this should do and this is not emcable either So setting up a farm for this could be beneficial, but for now get off my floor All right latex bucket right click on this thing Oh wow, how much do we need to make the... I might not have enough latex in there. Oh well, we'll find out. Simple machine frame. Uh, so iron ingots, that is the only thing that I did not grab. There we go. All right, iron ingots, gold gear, nether bricks. I think I got this. Nether bricks, gold gear. I uh, already forgot. <laughs> this thing, some plastic. And it is processing ETA, 11 seconds. And it should be done, and boom, simple machine frame. So it turns out we had plenty of latex in there. So I can go ahead and do iron again, gold, nether brick, pity machine frame, plastic, wait again. And just like so, we have two simple machine frames, which means we can now go ahead and get this set up. So another right scrap, plastic, simple machine frame, and I'm missing the diamond gears. Actually, hold up. We're not able to do this just yet. I need to somehow get the fluid out of there, I 
think the only way for me is to do that is to break it. Yep, because in order to make the advanced machine frame, we need pink slime, which I don't know how to get. Hmm. Mob slaughter factory. Interesting. So what? Putting mobs for the, in front of this thing is going to generate pink slime, I assume. All right, so I have an idea. I don't know if this thing requires power. It does. So I'm going to try and do something. I'm going to place it there. I'm going to place it facing that way. And I'm just going to test something. These bees have been flying around for quite a while. Um, <laughs> don't know if this is going to work or not. Um, that, that did not do what I thought it would. Maybe this will work. Oh, that did work. That did work, not a whole lot. I'm gonna need a lot of pink slime for this. Hmm. Okay, I just added a skeleton in there and it took 20 uh, micro buckets or whatever. Mm. Um, hmm. Apparently, the bigger. <laughs> the bigger the mob, the better, maybe? Let's see how much this pig. Oh, wow. Okay. Pigs it is. I'm very, very sorry, fellas, but it's for a good cause. It's for a good cause. All right, pink slime has been transferred over, so now we can try and do this once more. So, simple machine frame, plastic, then netherite scrap, gold, and diamond gear. It has not started the process. Did I get it right? I did get it right. Maybe I just need a lot more pink slime. Aha, there we go. Apparently it needs 500 per operation or at least for the advanced machine frame. That is very good to know. I also went ahead and set up this machine right here, so this process is a little bit more automated for getting a little bit more dry rubber. This is just gotta run in the background. Just need to check if the power... Ooh, the power is being drained quite a lot. Well, it'll stop as soon as those locks are broken, so I think we'll be all right. And there we go, two advanced machine frames. I can now tear this down. Don't need it anymore. Hopefully, anyway, because now we can go ahead and make, well, we have these, so we can go ahead now and make the stasis chamber at long last. This is huge. We will, again, also need a mob crusher, so we can go ahead and make that right away. And boom, that should be everything that we need. And get rid of this now, and this. Now, there are a few things that I do want to do in the map. I don't know if this is necessary or not. But I want to go ahead and claim my base. How does one force load? Aha, so if I hold down shift and right click, for example, here, that means these two chunks will be force loaded, even though I am outside of this area, which is what I want because this is where our power is being generated. And that is important for what we are about to do. And yeah, it'll be fine. It's fine. All right, let us head back over to the final dungeon, to the boss room. Now, this is going to be the interesting bit. I think if I do it uh, probably right here, if I go ahead and add an ender cell and the stasis chamber, oh boy, it's affecting me as well. It's affecting me. <laughs> uh, show working area. That doesn't work. All right. Out of range. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to double check and pretty sure this thing is working as it should. As you can see, I can't move. I can jump though, which is good. Um, I hope it's close enough. I think it is. Next, I want to set up the mob crusher. Probably not there. Okay, flying is really the key here. <laughs> uh, show working area. That's not big enough. I should be able to. Well, first of all, we want to power that. And it just so happens that I do have a range tier 4 upgrade right here. I even have an, a range tier 8. Wow. Okay. However, I don't think the, uh, the range 8 one is necessary. Let's take a look. Basically, this is going to kill those skeletons that we saw. Um, hmm. Right. I'm going to move this because it's a pain. I'm just going to put it right here. Perfect. And it's still named... Yep, it is. Sweet. And we're gonna try a range 8 upgrade. Yeah, that, that looks good. So now, I'm pretty sure... I can go ahead and disable this though. I'm pretty sure. If we have done things 
but we, if I have done things correctly here, the mother silverfish shouldn't move. If it does, I'll have to move that closer. Uh, time will tell. Spawn, come on. Please work. If everything goes according to plan, the mother silverfish should just stand right there in the air, kinda. Uh, which it does not. Okay, good to know. I made a flaw in this. Aha! <laughs> She's caught in it, so yeah, I just need to move it over a lot. Hmm. Oh, this is easy. Well, at least we know that it is working exactly as it should. I just need to move it closer. <laughs> Come on, die already. At least we get another silverfish out. Again, we do need to kill the another silverfish, I believe, yeah, two more times after this. Just to make the farm. There we go. Oh, now I'm caught in my own stasis chamber. All right, I'm gonna try put it here. Boom. And I can block this now. This should be fine where it is. Let us try and summon her again. One ritual starter, one egg. And boom, boom, boom. I'm confident this is going to work. Let's see what we got here. Timer. Hmm, that might actually be useful for something. There she is, and... Oh. Oh. Yep. She's in stasis. I'm fairly certain. Now you fellas should be dying. If I lure you over here... Yep. Mob Crusher is doing its thing. Not so tough now, are ya? Okay, that is half of the farm complete. <laughs> Now, two things. One, I will want to claim these chunks and force load them so they are always loaded. And then, uh, I don't want to spawn two at a time. I need to kill her uh, two more times. So this time and then once more to get four silverfish hearts before we can continue with the rest of the farm. Also, you see this thing does like 40 damage sometimes. And it's a lot faster than using the sword. And... Dead. Perfect. I'll definitely take all the shots I can get. Alright, I guess we get to test this a fourth time. You could never be too safe, right? Also, I just realized those are lodestones. Wow. Okay. And there we go. Yep, in stasis. Uh, you should be dying? Yeah, you are. Just extremely, extremely slowly. <laughs> it's fine. And boom. Now the next thing that we need to make is a Drink Me Charm. And we make this using three source gems, any seed, a Drink Me Shard, and Silverfish Hearts. And to get Drink Me Shard, we should be able to just drop a Wilden Horn on a Drink Me. Now normally, you would need to find a Drink Me, but... It just so happens that I have a drink me, or managed to get a drink me, in here. So I think I just do that. He's dancing, and boom, drink me shot acquired. Now is the time where we get into more Ars Novu. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to get as many uh, these stones as possible, because we need a cane stone, and they're made like this with the source gems. And yep, I would say that is a pretty good amount. So, question is, how much of this can I make? 56. That should be good. Alright, so we need to make an arcane core. We need to make an enchanting apparatus. And I think... 8? Ah, need more. Yep, need two more. There we go. Alright, so I think we have everything now that we need. I just need one seed, I believe. Then I need some source gems, three of them. All right, I think we could do this. So we'll just do it in this room. So we need to place the core in the center, surrounded by these pedestals, and then place the apparatus at the top. And then I think we just go ahead and give it the ingredients, like so. The shot there in the middle, oh wow, that is actually looking awesome. I want a screenshot of that right this instant. <laughs> All right, and boom, 
Drift Charm acquired. We are getting very close to the end, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what we are going to be needing. I'm actually going to be needing a chest as well. Just a chest. And I will also need some fence. Which... Yeah, that'll do. I think that'll do. Now, for the final ingredient. One, Marcy Cobblestone. <laughs> Out of everything, Marcy Cobblestone might be one of the most important ingredients for this. Alright, so what we want to do is find a spot where the stasis chamber is not having its effect. Which is there, apparently. So we can just set it, I think, right here. It should be good. So we can make a little bit of an infenced area. Is that even a word? I don't think that's a word. <laughs> a fenced-in area. There we go. This does really not need to be this big. Um, and is it? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not even even. Like it. it okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now it's symmetrical. All right. So what we need to do? We can place the chest, I believe, right there, and then we place the source jar there, and then over here, I think. I think this is fine. We can place some pipes and have volcanic source links, like so. Ooh, these pipes might not work. Hmm. That's interesting. I am a smurf. We need three of these arcane pedestals and not <laughs> and not six of the volcanic um what what are they called? Vol volcanic the thingies, which is why it didn't work. So pedestal, pipe, and then our ender drawer connected. Oh, I stored it, didn't place it. Punch to store, right click to insert. And then we just need to do this. So these are now getting cool. And these are volcanic source links, I think. Think, yep, should be generating source to the source jar. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that we are now ready after doing two more things to summon the mother silverfish one last time and then summon in our drip me. Now, two things that we need to do. One, I want to make sure that this area is claimed and chunk loaded so that this does not get unloaded at any time. And now I'm a bit afraid that this, the mob crusher, is going to crush our drink me that we are about to start spawn using the charm. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna get rid of it for now. <laughs> but here we go. Uh, hopefully it's not too close. We'll find out now. So we right click the charm on the Marcy Copper Zone, stuff happens, and boom, drink me has spawned. Now, I believe all we need to do. Let's go ahead and spawn the mother so fish, and I really hope I didn't spawn this too close. Uh, I will have to take care of some skeletons as well. I mean, the trick me shouldn't take any any damage. The mother so fish should just well get caught in the stasis chamber, and then everything should be fine. Um, which happened? Yes, actually, perfectly. And yes, it's doing its thing. So you can see those particles. Well, it's actually doing it on the skeletons, which we don't want. So. Just need to uh, somehow get you guys killed without hurting the drink me. If you could please just die. Thank you. So now, that, there you go. You saw the particle right there. It is doing its work on the mother silverfish and, well, loot should appear in this chest. Now, there is a thing that we can do to make this more efficient. And that is adding animals to this pen, which I definitely do want to do. But first, I think I want to add grass to this area because we're going to have animals. Because animals in here will make the drink me apparently happy. And so, working more efficient, I believe. So if I just add a bunch of animals, we should be pretty good. I'm just going to take this out, add some dirt, some grass if possible, or moss. You know what? Moss works too. Now the way I'm going to transfer mobs over are going to be with this mob imprisonment tool. And that is some rubber so I can make some more. However, I wonder if the, the chamber is using all that power. I may need to... I didn't upgrade all of these. 
to signalium or resonant integral components. I might need to do that. Uh, yeah. Now here is the cool part. As soon as I have this blend and have smelted it, there we go. Then I think you probably know what I'm about to do. All right. Now I just need to add these and these. And just like that, yeah, I'm mess I'm 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 never gonna miss Enderium or Luminum, or I'm 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 never gonna need more. <laughs> I'm never gonna need to craft it ever again. So this process is now extremely extremely quick. And with that, I believe I have everything that I now need in order to get these out. Quickly zoom back up. Go in here, smack them in there. Four, perfect. And maybe for now, this is going to stabilize our power situation. Uh, not quite. Oh wait, now it's going up. Now it's going down a bit, up. It might be stable now. I'll keep an eye on it. All right, this is gonna be a bit painful. I only have four of these mob uh, imprisonment tools, but I think we'll be all right for now. So I'll go ahead and grab some of these fellas. Actually, I don't have that many, that many animals. But that's fine. We'll probably get more, hopefully. Now we can teleport over. Hopefully everything is looking as it should. Nice. I'll add some moss to make this place look a little bit nicer and more inviting. And our drip me is about to get some friends. I'll add more in the future. And look at that, it is generating things. Now it is going to be a slow process. I don't know if adding this watch of time next to it is going to have an effect. Oh, but it's... Hmm. Is it supposed to do that? I wonder. I think I'm just gonna AFK here for a little bit, maybe 20, 30 minutes, and we'll see what we have in the chest afterwards. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, never mind. It just moved off its pedestal right after I stopped recording. And well, look here. Boom. Silverfish hearts, shards, and well, other stuff as well, which is cool. So this is not working. But I'm still going to AFK here for like 30 minutes and see what we actually end up getting. All right, approximately two hours later, yes, that is four times more than what I said before, we have got ourselves three, actually four silverfish hearts in total. Of course, together with some dark matter, co cool, co co bleh, cold silverfish shards and warm silverfish shards as well. And as you can see, I decided to remove the mobs because I feel like it was using a lot of time on the mobs and honestly I feel like it's the same result so maybe I'm doing something wrong there maybe I haven't used enough animals I don't know uh, if you know anything let me know down below in the comments but for now I am pretty happy with this I'm gonna go ahead and make a very special drawer I think a framed drawer which I believe if we go ahead and take maybe a diamond block I think inside how to change texture inside in, inside a crafting window place a block you want to use the text for outside the drawer. So like this. No? Hmm. So if I place it. Nope, that's Hmm. Aha, so in this configuration right here. Yeah, I think I think we need something very special. It's not going to be tied into our story system, but they're not really supposed to. Oh yeah. Perfect. Very, very special spot in our base. And I suppose that I can go ahead and release our horses and our one pig and one sheep to their freedom. Nice. They are not needed anyway. So guys, with that, our mission for today's episode is complete. We defeated the Balsolo fish multiple times and we managed to set up a farm for it, which I'm really, really excited about because that means we can now proceed in the Project E table here. We can move towards Dark Matter Armor, Dark Matter Tools, and then the Red Matter Armor and Red Matter Tools, which is really cool. But we can also move towards the Transmutation table. We do, in fact, have enough silverfish yards, but we need to get started with the Averitia mod. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. 
this right here, which I'm really excited about. So we have a lot of exciting things ahead of us. So guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the future episodes. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye. Yeah.